Hi, and welcome back to our channel Summaries of a Bookworm. Your number one place for all who need or like to listen to book summaries. Let's start with the book summary of today. The play takes place in the home of an unnamed family between 9 p.m. and midnight. The parents, three daughters, a newborn baby, an uncle, and the mother's father all live in a large chateau, but most of the action takes place in the sitting room, which most of the characters enter at the beginning. As they wait for the father's sister, a nun, and the doctors to arrive, they talk about how worried they are about the mother and baby's health. The sick mother is in the room on the left, and the baby sleeps in the room on the right. The first things people talk about are things like the weather, like if it's nice enough to sit out in the garden or if it's too wet from the rain. The girls and their dad want to sit outside now that it's stopped raining, but their uncle wants to stay inside. The blind grandfather's choice wins, which shows how much power he has in the family. He also says that anything bad could happen outside, they can't know what will happen. The other argument is about the health of the mother. The father thinks she is getting better, but the grandfather doesn't agree. Since the grandfather heard the mother's voice, he thinks she is still very sick. The uncle, who is the father's brother, tries to calm things down and make everyone feel better. He tells them not to make a big deal out of it. This is a quiet night to hang out with family and laugh. Soon, the grandfather's worry takes over the conversation and the tone of the play. Everyone has something to say about the mother's illness and about illness in general. The baby hasn't made a sound since he was born, the uncle says. This is strange and scares him. They are waiting for the mother's sister, and the grandfather keeps making the rest of the family feel his worry. As they wait for the sister to come home, they start to worry about who or what might be outside. Ursula is looking for her aunt in the road, but she says she thinks she sees someone in the garden. She can't remember who it is, but she notices that the nightingales have stopped singing. Swans in the pond are scared, and even the fish are swimming away. This shows that something has gotten in the way. The grandfather says something about the draft, and the three daughters can't close the door properly. Even though it's late at night, they hear a scythe being sharpened outside, which they think is the gardener. As the spooky feeling of the night grows on everyone, the conversation moves from person to person. Even though the light was turned on that morning, it seems dimmer than usual, and the grandfather's mental health seems to be getting worse after he goes to sleep. The father and uncle think he doesn't pay attention to what makes sense. People think that at his age, he shouldn't worry as much. When the clock strikes ten, the grandfather wakes up, thinking that someone is at the door. Ursula tells him that this is not true. The group hears a noise that sounds like someone coming up from the basement. Soon, everyone starts hearing noises, and they're sure it's the sister. But the maid says she didn't come. Instead, she went to close the door that had been left open for some reason. The grandfather starts to think that someone is not only in the house but also in the living room, but the others don't agree. He gets angrier and angrier and says that his family is hiding something from him and that they are paler than the dead. He thinks he should go check on the mother in her room, but the others tell him not to. When the lamp goes out, the family is left in the dark. They hear a noise that sounds like someone standing up, but no one has moved. As it gets darker and quieter inside, the baby cries out in terror offstage. The baby has never before cried. A nurse comes in to tell them that the mother has died. Everyone runs to her room and leaves the grandfather alone. Thank you for listening to our book summary. I hope we sparked your interest in the book. Please let us know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. Do you want to listen to more book summaries? Subscribe to us and you will get a notification every time we publish a new summary. Bye bye and see you next time.